I've mentioned on this channel before that I'm a radiologist, but I've yet to actually explain what that is. And if you ask my extended family, they don't seem to know either. So today I thought I should explain myself, let you all know what kind of a doctor a radiologist is and my top five reasons for why I chose it as my career specialty. And if all goes well, I can send this out to my extended family for posterity's sake, so I never have to explain myself again when they ask, oh, a radiologist. I didn't know that was a kind of doctor. So firstly, what is a radiologist? Well, a radiologist is a doctor who uses imaging to diagnose and treat various diseases. Nowadays, we have a whole slew of imaging techniques to choose from, including X-rays, CTs, MRI, ultrasound, and even radioactive imaging known as nuclear medicine. For the most part, with the exception of ultrasound, the technicians, the radiographers take the scans, and the radiologists are the qualified doctors who specialize in interpreting the imaging and writing reports back to clinicians with their findings and recommendations for what to do next. Over time, radiology has gone from being mostly about diagnosing things to being both about diagnosing and treating things. So when you get that notification that I've uploaded the video and then you're like scrambled to watch the video, smash the like button, you trip and fall, oh no, you hurt your knee, you go to the emergency department, you get your x-ray done, that's where I look at the x-ray, I send a report back, I say there's no broken bones, I recommend an MRI, I report the MRI, I feed that back to the orthopod, I bring you into my clinic for an ultrasound guided injection of the joint to relieve your pain because I'm just that nice of a guy. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. I don't do that last bit, that's more for my seniors, but we're on the way guys. <laughs> And if you're really keen on getting hands-on with patients, uh, but you don't actually want to be like elbow deep in people's abdomens, then you can go into interventional radiology. This is a subspecialty of radiology which performs minimally invasive surgical procedures using live imaging. These are the guys and gals that will unblock the artery in your leg, take out the clot from your brain if you're having a stroke, or even use radio waves or cryotherapy to just like melt away and freeze tumors. It's pretty incredible stuff. So now you understand a little bit about what radiology is, let's dive into my top reasons for choosing it. Number one, radiologists are the doctor's doctor. Now, along with pathologists, radiologists are often considered the doctor's doctor. No, that doesn't mean that we're the doctors your GP go to about their rash, please don't. Mess if any doctors are watching, don't message me with your rash. And certainly if you're seeing a pathologist for medical help, it may already be too late and you may be a ghost. All jokes aside, what that really means is that we're the doctors other doctors go to to help them make medical diagnoses. With the explosion of modern technology, radiology has accelerated at an exponential rate and basically underpins the foundation of diagnostic medicine. Think about it. When was the last time that you or a family member went to the hospital and didn't have some kind of imaging done? As a radiologist, you're really high in demand and, you know, it feels good to be wanted, you know. Number two is daily variety. The one thing I can confidently say is that I'm rarely ever bored in radiology. One morning, I might be reporting on-call CT for the patients coming through the ED. The next day, I could be watching my consultant take tissue samples from lung cancers or bone cancers or anywhere cancers really. After that, I could be inserting drains to take off fluid from people's chests so that they can breathe better. Another day I might be reporting x-rays and checking out all the funny things that people have swallowed. Both your days and your weeks as a radiologist are full of variety, both in the content and the people that you interact with. So although I would argue there's this misconception about radiologists being cave dwellers who enjoy sitting in the dark, goggled over a computer, in reality we see and interact with patients and doctors from all parts of the hospital and in all different ways. I'm not afraid of working hard or learning difficult things. However, the number one thing that I just can't be is bored. And radiology means I'm rarely ever bored. That actually leads me to my third point. I get to get off the wards. Now, this is a super personal one, but I realized soon after starting work as a doctor that ward life was just personally not for me. I don't particularly thrive on the adrenaline of five copies keeping me awake through an endless six hour ward round or 4 a.m. crash calls, only to finally go home and panic about whether I forgot to prescribe Miss Johnson's laxatives. That makes me frightened. Radiology, on the other hand, suits my personality a lot more. I have an orderly week plan, I turn up to my list with the, of the coffee. I know what to expect. I know what's expected of me. I learn something new every day. And you have a relatively large degree of autonomy and independence. On the wards, on the contrary, I felt my days were pretty monotonous, hectic, mostly about seeing as many patients as we can and doing as many jobs as you can. And there was really very little time for learning and training. And I think this is a 
common complaint across a lot of ward medicine. So as I said, this really is a personal thing for me, but for me, with the way I function, radiology keeps me calm, engaged with my work, happy through the day, eager to go to work, and frankly, it keeps my stomach full and my bladder empty, and wow. <laughs> You never realise what a privilege it is to have an empty bladder until you're on a six hour ward round. <laughs> Almost brings a tear to my eye. Flexibility and work-life balance is my number four reason. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Radiology is one of the roads to a good life. ROAD is an acronym touted in medical circles for specialties that offer, you know, controllable lifestyles. Among these ROAD specialties include radiology, ya yeah boy, ophthalmology, anesthesiology and dermatology. The reason these are considered road specialties and the road to a good life is because once you're a consultant or an attending, then you have a level of freedom and lifestyle control that other clinical specialties just really can't offer. You can work nine to five with little, or in some cases even no on calls. Your work is in a controlled environment for the most part, such as clinics or procedural lists, and you can work remotely, especially in the case of dermatology and your boy, radiology. In fact, with radiology, and probably even dermatology, you could even work from home if that takes your fancy. Studies have repeatedly shown how often it's not long hours or difficult work that makes people miserable at work. It's usually lack of autonomy and control. As a road specialist, you have more autonomy as a doctor and you have more control over your own life. Overall, I can't pretend, radiology provides an excellent work-life balance and I love that. And my last reason for choosing radiology, number five, it's technology-centered and future-looking. Day to day, we spend a good chunk of our time reading scans, and to do this, we need big screen setups, usually of three or more monitors. When I do a list, for example, in ultrasound or fluoroscopy, I also use big fancy machines that even to this day still amaze me at how they work. And in the last few years, we've really started to see AI being incorporated into medicine. Principally, this has been in radiology as that's where it can have a direct impact on how we work. Now, before I got into radiology, people kept fear-mongering to me about how AI was gonna be replacing radiologists in a few years. And to those people, I say, I for one welcome our new AI overlords. But jokes aside, the vast majority of radiologists don't fear AI. Instead, we're actually excited by the prospects of a new toy, keen to learn how it works and keen to see how it can improve our workflow. And the best part is you don't even have to wait for the AI. If you're a budding young Zuckerberg type, you could do this yourself. There's many radiologists who are building their own AIs to improve hospital workflow. And not to mention there's also scope to get into the physics side of things such as radiation safety or the engineering side of things in terms of the scanners and image optimization. And of course there's a whole industry built around that as well. So with radiology, I get to play with all these toys that I love. You get to be at the forefront of medical technology and software, and there's plenty of avenues to explore outside of direct clinical practice. There really is something for everyone. So that's it guys, that's my top five reasons for why I got into radiology and kind of what radiology is. I hope that's helped you guys understand better what I do. If you enjoyed the video, then please like the video and consider subscribing. If you have any questions about radiology, the career path, or any of the weird, wacky things I said, um, then please leave a comment below. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.